Hello mates, I am Kiran Zadav here. In this session, I will teach you in Spring Boot, create a REST API and test it using API testing tool like Postman API and Swagger UI. Then we'll jump on our practical hands-on session here. First, we'll create this Spring Boot application by using Spring Initializer. This is the official web page. We are selecting here project as Maven, language as Java, the Spring Boot version we are selecting 3.3.6. Here we are giving project information, group as a package name, com dot, full stack. Artifact it means our application name, Spring Boot, REST API, example, then refactor the base package, then packaging as jar, Java version we are selecting 17, adding dependencies, dev tool for library load, Next, Lumbok for reduce the boiler fluid code. Next, Spring Web inbuilt Tomcat server available there, and we are going to create the REST API. Simply click on Generate. So this is the Spring Boot feature. Within a minute, we are able to create production-ready application. Now copy the application and paste in particular folder. Now simply right-click on that folder, that application, and then do the extract. Once extraction is done, then copy the path of our application, and we'll come up with the IntelliJ idea goes to file new project from existing sources. We are giving the path of our application and simply click on OK. This is Maven project. Then go with the new window. Now coming to here Maven and we are just going to enable dev tool. For that perspective, goes to compiler and do build process automatically. Then apply and OK. Now come come up with the pom.xml file. See. Here we are using Spring Boot 3.3.6. The compatible Swagger UI dependency I am going to add here. You can add it from Google as well, but now it's available in my local. I will copy from there itself. Then this is the Swagger UI dependency version I am using here. Spring Doc 2.0.4. Once this dependency is added, then simply go to Maven and then do the build of our application. Maven clean space install. In the meantime, We'll come up with the src main java com.fullstack. Simply right click on that new package, the package name. We are giving here model package. Again, right click on com.fullstack, new package. The package name is controller package. Now, in model package, we are creating new java class. Java class name I am giving here employee. And within controller, we are creating new java class as employee controller. Now our build is success. Once build is success, simply reload our projects. Now we'll concentrate on creating the APIs. For that perspective, first we'll come up with the POJO class, and here we'll annotate with add rate data. Add rate data is available in data center and two string method. And once you are using add rate data, it's coming from Lumbok. It will help us to reduce boilerplate code. And how to enable Lumbok? For that perspective, you can simply go to file. There is option available setting, then goes to plugin, and then here you can simply type Lumbo. In my local Lumbo already installed. In your case, you need to click on install, then apply and OK. Then here, next rotation we are using address all our constructor, it means parameter as constructor. Next we are using no constructor, it means default constructor. Now I am adding here some variables like private int emp have id. Next private string emp have name private double emp have salary then coming to controller layer annotate put at the rate rest controller itself available at the rate response body it will return object as a response next we are using request mapping base uris i am giving here forward slash employees then here first we'll create the list of employee then here i'm giving this will be employee list equal to i'm using here job right feature stream of new employee and here we're passing id as 121 employee name i'm passing here swara and the employee salary i'm passing here 96000.22 then ending with you can simply use the to list to list is a method comes in java system version See, since Java 16. Now we are trying to add here two more employee data because we are trying to add list of employees here. 
district allows you to update as well. The next record I am giving here 122 and third record we are giving triple one. Then here second record name I am giving Lakshmi and third record name we are giving here Darshan. Then here Darshan salary we are adding here 91,000 and Lakshmi we are adding here 95,000. Now we we'll come with the rest API question part. Here I am giving date mapping. This is API name we are giving sort by ID. Then we are writing with public. This will be response entity. It will be type of our list, list of employee. And here we are giving method name as sort by ID. Then to return, it will be response entity dot ok. Employee list dot Again, we are using Java feature stream dot sorted comparator dot comparing, and here we are passing employee method reference with EMP ID. Again, we are using here dot to list. If you want to follow your reverse order of employee ID, you can simply use reverse function here. Now, coming to next API creation, we are going to write here API sort by name. Same, we are going to change the method name as well, sort by name. And instead of get EMP ID, you can simply say get EMP name. Next API, we are going to write here sort by salary descending order. Same, we need to change our method name as well, sort by salary descending. And here you can simply say get EMP salary. And use which function? This function here. One more API we are going to write here. Like this is find by name, get mapping. Then here you can simply say find by name. And here we are giving input parameter as EMP name. This will be public response entity. Here we are passing list. This will be type of our employee. There will be duplicate name also available. That's why we are using list. List allows the duplication of data. Method we are giving find by name. Then input parameter we are passing. That's why we are using here address path variable string type of EMP name. Now return this will be response entity dot open employees dot stream dot filter. And then we are using here lambda expression EMP dot get EMP name dot equals EMP name dot to list you can simply use here ending with dot to list this way we done with our api creation part then format it control a alt control l now we are going to run our application simply come with the main class simply right click here and start the application then once application up and running then meanwhile I will show you how to open the Postman API. For Postman API, if you are trying first time, then simply go to Chrome browser and type here Postman API download. Once you are going to open this one, then here available Postman API for Windows. You can use for your comparative operating system. Once you download it, then click on next, 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 and then finish. You don't need to worry about sign up and sign in. Simply do, I shall do it later. And once it installed, then press the Windows button, type here Postman. Then here it will go to open Postman API and background we have already started our application running one which port number 8080. Now we will come up with the first API testing sort by ID. Which ID come first? Ascending order it means triple one it means Darshan record we are expecting first record. Then come up with the Postman. Here I am passing our requested URL for API testing. Then pass here localhost colon this will be base your as employees and this is our API sort by ID. See, here is Darshan record coming first because ID is triple one. And if you want to do reverse order, right, then you can simply use here reverse function. See, here is option coming as a reverse function. Perfect. Now, sort by name, which whatever name we are expecting, right, ascending order we are expecting there. Here also Darshan coming. But now, if I am doing live change here, right? If I will add one more record here, I am giving name as Aparna. Then we are expecting Aparna come first. See one screen. Here I am passing Aparna. 
and id we are giving okay we'll give here 11 euro and again share salary we are passing suppose 93000 again one more record i want to add the duplicate record as well for that perspective we are passing here duplicate record for lakshmi then here you can pass any id whatever you want i'm passing 151 as id and here we are passing salary as 90 97000 perfect then here we done the changes then we are expecting dev tool goes to live reload see live reload is done now we are expecting which name come first sort by name ascending order we are expecting aparna first see aparna is coming here right yeah perfect the next next api testing is here we are going to test the api sort by salary descending order and here we use reverse function simply pass your api name it will give us the output see it means highest salary come first and lowest salary coming as last now coming to next next is find by name and expected input parameter as a string type of emp name i am passing here swara it will fetch swara data if i am passing here lakshmi i hope lakshmi is there two lakshmi it means twice available it will fetch two records this is the way we done with the postman api testing now we'll come up with the swagger ui for that perspective you can simply come up with the chrome browser and simply hit here local host 8080 then here you can simply type swagger hyphen ui dot html see swagger also working here then here is available first api sort by salary descending click on try it out and then execute see sort by salary descending order now again next api sort by name ascending order see here is coming right and if you want to write descending order then you can simply come with here sort by name descending order if you want then simply write here reverse function now we need to wait at least for second dev tool it will goes to live reload the application and sort by name it will work as a descending order as well then we'll come back to here refresh the our web page and then try it out execute now we are expecting siswara ka record come first and aparna coming here the next is sort by id ascending order we are expecting here right yeah see this is ascending order but if you want to sort by id also descending order then you can simply change here simply use dot reverse function now dev tool tool goes to live reload the application once it live reload is done then you can simply come up with the browser here in swagger simply refresh the our web page and then you can simply try it out sort by id it will give us the descending order c151 come and here is last is 110 now coming to next next is find by name i am passing here darshan it will fetch only one record now we are passing here lakshmi it will give us two record because there is available two record for this lakshmi right that's why we are using here return type itself list then i hope you got the clarity how to create the rest api in spring boot and how to test it using postman api and swagger ui yeah if you are facing any difficulties feel free to ask your questions in comment box and yes that's it in this session thanks for watching this video please do like share comments and subscribe this channel to get more updates and see you in next video